Artificial intelligence is evolving at such a rapid pace these days that it's extra important to stay on top of all the latest and greatest news so that we don't fall behind. So what exactly is ChatGPT4 Turbo and what's amazing about it? To put it into context, if you're using GPT for free, you're using 3.5. If you are using ChatGPT with a subscription of $20 a month like I do, then you're using ChatGPT version 4.0. ChatGPT 4 Turbo with Vision is only available right now as a preview to paying developers with an OpenAI API account. For us non-developers, it's very likely that under that same subscription of hopefully $20 a month, it will stay that way, very soon we'll also be able to access ChatGPT 4 Turbo with Vision there. So the first really exciting announcement is that ChatGPT 4 Turbo now can support 128,000 tokens of context maximum. What does that mean? Well, to put it into perspective, ChatGPT4 at its maximum can support 32,000 tokens. What do tokens mean? Tokens just means how long the memory of conversation lasts. What do I mean by that? Well, 128,000 tokens is equivalent to about 96,000 words, which means that if you're asking questions, ChatGPT4 Turbo's answering it, you're having dialogue, you're having conversation, anything before 96,000 words, it's gonna have amnesia, it's not gonna remember, it's not gonna have context with it. A really easy way to think of tokens is like think of someone that has Alzheimer's, where if you talk to them for about three minutes, they will remember it and they could keep the conversation. But anything above three minutes, they completely forget. Their short-term memory gets reset basically and they can't go back in conversation. So what do I mean by ChatGPT4 Turbo having a maximum of 96,000 words in its memory bank? It just means that if the chat goes beyond 96,000 words, it'll likely forget everything before the 96,000 words and the answers may be out of context. So the fact that it supports 128,000 thousand tokens of context is huge. Again, to put it into perspective, Anthropics Claude 2 was able to digest 100,000 tokens. It supported 100,000, whereas now ChatGPT4 Turbo is king with 128,000 supported tokens. Also, to put it into perspective, Microsoft is working on a project called LongNet, which promises that there will be 1 billion maximum tokens of context. But we don't really know if that's going to be a possibility or not. This next upgrade feature is personally what I'm most excited about. So if you've been using ChatGPT, something that's very annoying about ChatGPT 3.5 and even ChatGPT 4 is that it had a cutoff of knowledge at September 2021. What does that mean? That means if I prompted ChatGPT to tell me about Steph Curry's scoring average in 2022, it wouldn't be able to do it because anything after September 2021, it didn't have knowledge access to. Whereas now, Turbo will have access all the way up to April 2023. That's gonna be its cutoff. Furthermore, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, the one that's doing the presentation during Dev Day, he promised to never let a ChatGPT model get that out of date again. They also made other technical announcements, which I won't get too much into this video, but basically they dropped the rates. They made it a lot cheaper for developers making AI models with ChatGPT integration. They also talked about text-to-speech requests. They showcased the way the voice sounds when it reads prompts back to you or converses with you, and it's so much more natural. It's so much more believable. And soon, you will not be able to distinguish between an AI model speaking to you or a person. It will basically be impossible. 
Now, the other really exciting thing is the image prompts. Dolly 3, we've already been able to play around with it. I actually made a tutorial on that and a video if you go back a couple of videos ago and also ChatGPT Vision. I've also made a video on that as well. And when I covered Dolly 3, I actually had 15.5 thousand views as of today on that video, which I super appreciate. It keeps me motivated to keep creating content like this. So I appreciate that. Also, and something I love, even though I'm not a developer using ChatGPT products right now, is their copyright shield. They basically promise to defend their customers and to cover the fees incurred if they are getting sued. This is something that I love because I believe with AI, IP laws should probably be rewritten at this point or at least revisited because all of this copyright, all these intellectual property laws, they they were written before AI was introduced. And so we're going to see a lot of lawsuits fly around and we'll see new laws get made. But while these lawsuits are flying around, OpenAI is promising that they will defend their customers and help out with some of the fees incurred. And I might actually make a separate video on that because I love this concept so much. So hopefully that was a very simple to understand update as far as what's coming down the pipeline in the chat GPT product line. I'm very, very excited to play with chat GPT for turbo with vision. And I appreciate companies like OpenAI pushing the boundaries of what artificial intelligence is capable of doing. Thank you for watching this video in its entirety. Many more tutorials, many more news and updates on the world of AI coming up on this channel. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.